So what, All right, yeah. what do you want me to roll for balls? Balls. You just roll smithing for the balls. Okay. And I'm gonna make some revolver bullets, so tinkering for me. Eesh. Not my best work. Right. What's Ion gonna be working on during the travel time? Uh, various medicines. Fair enough. The atonement spell to get her alignment back to lawful. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> never went away from lawful. You <laughs> tried to break the law to get in there. You basically, yeah, you that was chaotic action. That was super chaotic. That's that the definition was so chaotic. of chaotic. <laughs> I remember them drawing weapons. They drew weapons to. They lowered their weapons to block the door. Okay, okay. With you standard action. You threatened guards that are doing lawful action with chaotic action. They also threatened to kill their master too, which is weird. Or no, she didn't. to break in. She didn't actually. No, she didn't threaten that, but she like threatened to break in and everything else. It's yeah. You, that's... You're not gonna really rationalize it against what Ion was doing. There was not lawful in the least. <laughs> and you, she, you've got me, Jeeves, Silver, and possibly Alto, both all the greens of this one. Yeah, I'm. I'm literally surprised that she's even alive at this point. Because if it were yeah. my campaign, she probably believe would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I have the reasons why she's alive. We 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 know we know, and we you know. may have actually picked up on some of them if there were insight checks. Yeah, but there weren't. Okay. Um, oh, shut up. Uh, All right, uh, uh, right. So pistol for that he was making pistol. I was making revolver. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So for the two of those combined. Um, let's see. If you want to say it should be dex instead, it's minus one, you know, whatever. Nah. I'm not overly worried about this. It's, if it's smithing, it goes off stream, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that. Um, I'm going to say the two of you combined will probably be able to make. It's not that terribly complicated. Like, once you make the first one, Lily, you can pretty much have, like, a mold or a strategy going through to make the rest of them because you're just making little balls. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to say, Lily, you're going to be able to pretty easily make probably for how long you'll be doing this. <sighs> if you do this all freaking day, you can make a, a, an enormous amount, but it also depends on how many supplies you have. How many do you um, need, Shiki? Uh, t t t they're not pistol ones on that expensive, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look. How many? So I've got 76, 76 at the moment. So do you want to just do 25, top it off? Yeah, top off twenty five for now. Yeah, that'll be easy and uh take half the gold cost for that out of the party loot. I'm gonna have to figure out a way, like the party stopping to actually pick up supplies well, every now and again so they have like a store of metal and what have one, you. I'm trying to think one gold for ten. So one gold for five. Yeah, so uh, five. one gold. Oh, no, one, no, gold no, no. one gold for twenty. Yes. <laughs> one gold for twenty. <laughs> yes, yes. Two and a half gold. Thank you. Thank you for supplies. correcting me on that. I realized my math fell. <laughs> do you, do you want to check you? for supplies on the way? One gold, two We're silver. We're flying right by Drakengard. We could easily pick up metal and stuff there. I got it. Uh, one gold, you, three silver. For one gold, three yeah. silver. How much for the and revolvers? Revolver rounds I'm making. Um, uh, I'm gonna say the revolver rounds will be the same cost, and you're probably gonna be able to make. I'll say twenty of them. Uh, I can I push myself a little further. If you want to work all day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll work. I work until we stop. So. All right, roll Does another pickery. Can Lily? Can Lily help just to speed it along? Or. No, Lily cannot. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use my sleeping bag. Okay. <laughs> Fudge off! I look. 18, 17, 16. I'm going to say that pushing yourself, you'll be able to probably make 50 bullets, but you feel a little exhausted by the end of it. Oh, boy. Right, and so it's going to be the same deal after it, so it's going to be the half the normal cost to make it. Um, okay. You pushed yourself, got more than double out of it, you just feel a little tired. So one level of exhaustion. Okay. Uh, two gold, five silver. I, I took it out of the party loot, yep. Thank you very much. Because they're not the most complicated things to make, but, but I spent, it's it's time. But it's also you. 
And it's nerve-wracking. Well, uh, yeah, it's nerve-wracking. You need to make sure it's taken care of properly. Um, super focused. Yeah, super focused. Just the stress from all that working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, things are going. You're going to keep flying. So I own was working on medicine. Roll me a medicine check. So, do you remember, uh, what are you trying to make exactly, though? I remember she got some anesthetic. Some herbs make anesthetics and anti and stuff. All right. Okay. Um, I know you got like the mushrooms or something from around West Hold. I don't remember exactly. Uh, it was water breathing. Water or something. Water breathing or water walking, one of the two. I assume she's not doing anything with them. Uh, she might actually do what she can. Well, let's focus on the anesthetic right now. She can work on that later. So the anesthetic. With that roll, I'm going to say you'll, you'll probably be able to make about two doses. That's a, no, that'd be DC decently. Three doses of an anesthetic. Um, you could administer this to a person, like make them drink one of the vials. And they would probably, it'd be a, let's see, it'd be a constitution save, which they can choose to fail. And this save would have them drift off to sleep. Alternatively, you could like apply this to a weapon, and it would have a similar effect, though the DC would be rather low, or something like that. Okay, well. So just three vials of sleep medicine. Alright, she'll hold on to it. Probably store it on the ship somewhere. Yeah. Lock chest. All right. Um, meanwhile, he'll travel throughout the night. Um, Beth hands off the ship at some point. The various deck hands are swapping out as needed. Uh, around early-ish morning, uh, assuming people are going to be asleep at this point. Sound right? Uh, yeah. Sounds like Shiki was staying up, but Lily would be asleep, I know. Yeah. Probably continue on. Let's see. So early morning will come up. They've over the water at this point, or you're not actually to the water at this point, because it's going to take you still another eight hours. Um, maybe, maybe I'm going to go to bed for a bit. Okay. So, it's morning, uh, the sun is coming up, the clouds, there's not that much cloud cover out right now, which gives you a beautiful blue everything around you. The water below, the sky above, everything but the sun pretty much is blue in front of you. I was just going to sit out there on the deck and Stare at all the blue. Steep, 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 steep. The big blue. It's so blue. Steep, 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 steep. About some point as this is going on, um, Beth currently isn't uh, help, um, taking the wheel right now. She's letting one of the deckhands do it. She walks around and she just kind of keeps pacing around, looking over the side every so often. Oh, what is everyone's passives? Passive, passive perception. perception. Yeah, passive perception on everyone. Fifteen. Uh, I think Ciara has 18. a decent one. Eighteen on my own. I'm sleeping. Uh, Ciara is sixteen, so not amazing. What was Ion's? Eighteen. I'll say Ion was out on the deck as well. That makes sense. Yeah. Like Ion getting fresh air outside. I'll say this. So, as this is going on, Ione will glance over and she'll notice that Veth is continually looking towards the same spot, like just side glances. Uh, you follow with a glance one of the times, and she's doing this in a way that it's rather difficult to notice. But like following the glance off in that direction, you don't see anything there. There's nothing there. Nothing you can see. Only I own saw that. Yeah, nobody else really beat her. Uh, her attempt to disguise it. I own's going to approach quietly, just act like normal. Say, mm -hmm. did, are you? Did he notice anything? Mm. Something, I believe. You can almost hear it on the winds. Oh. And you notice that she has her back to that side of the ship as she does this. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Land to see what if she could spot her or hear whatever she's doing. Roll.
roll a perception. Good with doom away. Bad roll. Oh, well, never mind. You see absolutely nothing. You hear absolutely nothing. Aside from the normal wind that you would hear from the ship going by. This is crazy. Well, if you need some rest, go ahead. I mean, everyone needs rest occasionally. Hmm. Perhaps. She'll kind of just shrug at this point and she'll climb up onto the decks to speak to the deckhand who is currently holding it. Uh, let me move everyone over to map for this. So, Tagi is not actually on deck. <laughs> CR, I'll say, isn't actually on deck. Azul's down below. I'm not on deck. You're not on deck. I'm in the sky. We'll be over there. Bran, will come. Bran can be on deck. I don't know if on deck. Cryley will be watching the crows next. Cassidy's not on deck. Ciara. I'll say she's below deck, so she could be up there easily, but she's not on deck currently. And he's the one who is currently at the wheel. That makes this a good thing. Lily's right at the edge, looking over. And so then Ione would also have to have been down here when she was speaking to Beth. Uh. And she'll kind of just whisper to um, the crew member there, and you kind of see he looks at Beth for a second, a little confused, and then nods as he steps away from the wheel, and she takes it. And things continue on for a second. Ione, I'm assuming you're continuing to watch her? Eh, yeah. You can see that she is basically preparing for something uh, the way her hands grab onto this uh, ship's wheel. Mm. Glancing back in the direction that you that she was staring in previously, however, you see nothing for a moment. Nothing at all. And then your face is greeted by what does this thing have? Teeth. It does not actually have teeth. It has other fun <laughs> things though. Tentacles? You are greeted <laughs> looking off in this direction by like they make the joke of tentacles. These aren't tentacles. The genticles. No. Oh, no. <laughs> A stab directly towards your face, first of all. And this stab will miss, thankfully. And as you're looking at it and try to figure out what the heck caused this, you realize standing right in front of you is a massive horse, which is on fire. Atop it is sitting a man with a glaive and a beard, which seems to almost be tentacles that are barbed at the end. And it tries to bring his glaive down after the first attack misses. And the glaive, I think, what's your AC? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The glaive will also just barely miss somehow. Yep. And at this point, roll initiatives. You know, just saying, Risu, it would be really nice if you actually share any of this information with somebody else so that, you know, we're not spread well, across the entire fair, ship. Uh, like this? Deep, deep, stop right there. This is not something I'm oh, that you can only out Lee to for. Well, she still didn't mention anything to anyone, so... This is still saying. nothing This is still nothing you can yell at Risu for, and I'm going to call you out for blaming her for this. I'm not blaming her for the battle. I'm blaming her for being like, oh, by the way, what are you looking at? Nothing? Okay. I won't tell anyone. She Maybe. does it all the time. Well, yeah. It's very annoying. Oh my jeebs! I saying. will not. No, you are. You're taking this out too far. Because in all honesty, she looked. She saw nothing. That seems crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't see anything. You hear the wind. Is that something you just tell? Like that's not a a huge emergency deal there. This no. is you just taking it out on Risu. No, it's not an emergency deal, but still, she whispers to Veth instead of being like, Hey, what is it? Uh, That's all. Please continue. 
<sighs> Bloody hell. That was the attack there, so yeah, the initiatives has rolled. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked on that because... I think right. Shiki should roll just to be on the thing. Uh, no, I'm sleeping. I don't I think I... I, I, I don't think I get into initiative until I wake up, is that right? Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. I gotta roll for you, because you actually would have been keeping watch. Do you want me to roll for Ciara? Uh, yeah, because Ciara wasn't asleep, I'll say. Ran actually has a sheep now. Bad Ran. Alright, so... Now that we've completely taken out the mystery of this... Yeah. I own sitting before you as you were barely able to dodge out of the way of this. You have no clue where this figure appeared from, but they are, it's roughly human. Like I said, he has this big, vicious looking glaive in his hand, and his beard is, it seems alive, almost it's more like dreadlocks and actual hair, each tipped with a barb. And he tried to stab you with both of these, failing to do so properly as he attacked you. Um, the horse standing directly in front of you, it's almost flying, actually. It's standing a little bit off the ship. And that was his failed little surprise round. So Bran's first turn is he is going to react rather quickly to seeing that, oh, crap, there's a big, mean thing over here. And he'll just run over and try to stab at the rider. And that'll hit the rider pretty easily for crap damage. I need a fixed dice. And that one will miss. And he's going to take the step forward so he can hit it with the butt. And that'll miss as well. Wow. He rolled a lot of four. <laughs> Lily's turn. All right. Uh, I assume we're, we're able to notice this fairly easily, right? Yeah, this is, like, when the horse came out, it was a very loud, um, what's the word, ninny? Winnie? Uh, nay? Let's go with nay, like a loud nay yeah. when it came out, and you could hear more or less a yell in a, uh, this wouldn't be abyssal, it's uh, infernal. Okay. Uh, Lily would not have had any weapons out, so she's going to grab her bow and run towards him. Mm hmm And fire. Mm-hmm. Call it scorching bow, yeah. but I don't know if there's any fire. I think it's I can there make is a, a fire effect. It does a one d four naturally. Uh, so it's plus one d four on on the dice. Yeah, or it's like a one d four fire naturally. So some's piercing, the rest is fire. Okay. It's kind of like what your sword does. Cool. And both of those will hit. I will add that in. All right, that it for Lily's turn. Uh, yes. All right. Um, Veth at this point will kind of growl in annoyance and release the wheel, telling the uh, her um, de the deck in here to take the wheel instead, and she will run down as well. And she, you can see as she runs down, her expression is of nothing but vicious anger as she's running this way, pulling out both of her swords, and she will attempt to stab. Is this the right sheet? Yes, I believe. Uh, no. Why am I looking at your sheet? I want to look at you. Okay. And sword. And sword. I assume wow, it's a. She's. Go ahead. Really, really accurate, isn't she? <laughs> I assume it's a good assumption that the fire damage does absolutely nothing to this guy. The fire damage is absolutely nothing. Yeah. Then again, he's riding a, hor a horse that's on fire at I've, the same time. I figured that might be a good assumption. <laughs> yeah. So Veth is able to hit both times, but she's not really able to get a lot of good hits in on this thing. 13 damage. Ciara, and or I still have the rest of the crew's hands. And as she's doing this, she'll call out as loud as she can. 
devil's on the ship. Ciara can roll perception. Uh, have Shiki roll perception as well at disadvantage. Oh, sure, I will. Perception. Ciara, I'm definitely here. Okay, cool. Shiki, the disadvantage means you do not hear. Yep. All right. And this guy here will just come take the wheel, and the other ones they kind of look at devil or the the attacking creatures and not really know what to do. Ciara's turn. All right. Uh, how much movement does it take for her to get up onto the deck? I'm gonna say she'll be able to use about 20 feet of her movement to get up to here. Okay. Um. All right. So another 10 feet to move to here, and I'm gonna have her cast. Just checking what we have here. I'm gonna have her cast Guiding Bolt. Mm -hmm. There it is. So, so many I'm, spells. Um, though I, I have so many sheets. Yeah. Uh, uh, level. Level two. Okay. Level two. That will definitely hit for thirteen radiant damage. And. No one's been hit yet, so uh, as a bonus action, can she cast, what is it, Spiritual Weapon? That's a bonus? Um, yes, it is. That is a bonus, yes. Um, and have it right below Ion? Mm -hmm. I suppose I can drag that out, can't I? Yeah. If I set it up, I don't know if I did. Did I set up a Spiritual Weapon thing? No, I did not, so let me just take the Spiritual Weapon for you. Oh, okay. Right below I own, you said? Yep. Yep, so I'll throw it right there. Alright, and you had that roll the attack on him, and that will hit for another 5 force damage. And this first, yeah, that's just enough damage to kill him. And as the uh, spiritual weapon comes up and smacks him across the side, you can kind of see his body goes a little bit limp, and he falls off this demon horse, and his body dissolves as he falls. That was quick. Bye, he's Devil, so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to move him all the way out here because he's my initiative token. Um, I don't see the weapon. Maybe um, GM layer, maybe? I think so. It's not that it's... Is it GM layer? It is GM layer. That's my apologies. I didn't think I was on GM layer when I did that. Oh, it's a mace. Cool. Yeah. It made sense because she uses maces. All right. Next up is... As all of this is going on, right over here, another demonic horse and its rider appears. More threateningly, however, is this. A large demon, devil, creature, fiend. Let's go with fiend. A large fiend with a huge bar a tail with a spike on the end. Wings that look more at home on an insect than a creature of this size. And in his hands, there's actually something in his hands, there is a long hooked glaive. Where is he? Where is this sheet? I know I brought a sheet out. There it is. And he seems to be flying easily on, on his own power, and he is going to take this hooked arm and he's going to try to stab at Lily. And your AC is 20, yep. So this hook pull arm, as he swings out, you're able to deftly duck under it. And at the same time, as he does this, his tail slinks out under both of his legs and goes in to stab you. And this does hit. You will take 16 piercing damage and 18 poison. Okay. And roll a con save. You are fine. You can feel as this stinger stabs into you. It's covered in vicious poison, and he pulls it out, and you kind of hold your um, stomach for a moment and just kind of shake your head, Lucy, um, getting free of the other effects that you can feel it has, just fighting them off. And at this point, Cryley will call out again, Everyone get on deck! 
And she will cast a Hunter's Mark on this thing, because what else would she want to target aside from probably the ugliest thing here? I guess I'll roll another Perception. Yeah, roll another Perception. God damn you! Crowley, however, is a lot louder, considering she has a Harpy's voice. Mm. Shiki does hear this. Okay. Is Shiki's charmed now? Shiki, you're charmed to come up decks. Come to top deck. <laughs> Alright, so... Yes, master. And then Carly was going to take aim at the thing there, and I think that misses. Oh, it definitely misses. And she'll shoot again. That hits, however, and that with her hunter mark is going to be nice. I gotta roll it again. It'll be six. Yeah, that's actually some pretty freaking nice damage. Because that's 19... Uh, yeah, 19 and then minus 8 more. A pretty good hit in that second one. Cheeky. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do the initiative, seeing that. You said I was up. Yeah. Um. After my initiative, I'm going to take a short break. I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, I'm half tempted to really throw you up, like, right now on the initiative order. Oh. So she interject because of her role. Primarily because of when she heard, and so she'll be able to act. But I can throw you. I'll throw you when you actually were. Yeah. That makes sense. You just missed the first round, essentially. It's fine. Yep. Next up, that'll be the end of Cryley, so it's Ion's turn. Anything's better than missing a whole freaking fighting going. Why is it one go up on me? Yep. I, I forgot I have to select my token for that. Yep. Alright, attacking the horse. Okay. When it goes. The horse, yep. The horse doesn't seem to be nearly as armored as you hit it with... Let me... Did I actually... I have so many sheets to freaking deal with. So, horse is... Oh, okay, cool. Buddy, check. So that hit will get the horse pretty good, dealing a total of 13 damage between the cold and the piercing. Alright, I'm going to leave the horse to them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And okay. you're going to go... <laughs> yep. Uh, Reflect my token here. Mm -hmm. And because you have mobile, the horse can't try to stomp you. Attacking. That will hit. Alright. Flurry of blows. Okay. And I just want to remove its reactions. That'll miss. If I can hit. And that will hit. Is it just free remove reactions? Yes, it is. Yep. And that will hit for 10 bludgeoning damage. Alright. And let's see, that was 25 movement, I believe. Uh, I believe so, yes. No, 30. I should be good there. Yeah. All right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to the bathroom out of character, so yep. I'll be right back. Okay. Yep. Next up will be this thing's turn. It's going to shift over here, technically. I don't think that matters too much. And it is going to move... Okay, I can't move it technically, so it is just going to hold its action to attack. Eh, it'll hold its action to attack really when it's next to her. And then the nightmares are going to move. Nightmare will move up next to Lily, and it will try to stomp on her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is not a very good stomp. That would be a very nice crit, but that was not a very good stomp. And then he will take his held action, which was to stab... Where's the bearded? Who's going to stab first with this, which will miss horribly. And then the beard. As he stabs him forward with the actual weapon, he misses. But as he's overextended himself and he kind of uses the glaive to support himself up, his beard kind of reaches out and stabs Lily, and she will take nine piercing damage. Not the beard! <laughs> Roll a con save. 
you are fine, as you feel that there's some sort of poisonous effect on this beard as well. <laughs> yep, and then the nightmare over here is going to try and stop Bran. And that'll actually hit Bran. Bran will stagger back as this horse rears up and kicks him in the chest. He will take 14 bludgeoning damage and 6 fire for a total of 20 as he staggers back. And Bran's turn now. He's going to try to return the favor. That'll hit. That'll hit. And that'll hit for a grand total of 16 damage. He didn't quite return the favor. Didn't quite. Lily's turn. <clears throat> All right, well, Lily is going to... Um, she's going to be at disadvantage pretty much no matter what she does. But she's going to step forward, trying to put... Mm -hmm. Force that bony devil thing away. Uh, and is going to fire her weapon at this guy. Okay. Boom. Uh-huh. Boom. Mm-hmm. Disadvantage, but I think the second one might hit. Uh, the second one does hit for a lot of damage. The fire seeming to have no effect on the flaming horse. And she's going to put away her weapon. Okay. So that she can draw a different one next turn. And she is going to... Uh, ba -ba. Uh, second wind to stay alive. Mm-hmm. 